I'm in Luxarium, waiting for midnight, and I'm gonna talk with that sentry that said something about there like being ghost or something. Because we got these uh, voices from the grave or something. I hear yeah, rumors him. of the murder victims returning from the beyond. You know, the ones killed by the children of Etro. Apparitions go against the Order's beliefs. I suspect this is all nothing more than a wild rumor fanned by superstition. Uh, he probably wants us to go to the graveyard. Although the quest kind of showed the north station. Whoa. Wait a minute. Trust in our God, never... What is this? Who is this? I didn't, didn't you? see anything. You of all people should know who I am and what happened here. Think about it. Does she mean the murders? Is she one of the murdered girls? I think I saw a hand. Your hair color. I guess I do know what happened. You were a victim of Vetra's fanatics, weren't you? That's right. When I was alive, I spent my days as one of God's soldiers, keeping those heretics in line. It wasn't easy. But under the Order's authority, I work day and night to keep the peace. That's probably why I was targeted. It was certainly courageous, going against such a dangerous organization. Do you know anything about the Shadowhunter? Rumor has it he's their leader, a renegade rebelling against the established Order. Another one of society's outcasts. His actions weren't without good reason. In all fairness, we brought it on ourselves. The Order went through a dark period. A lot of mistakes were made back then. The elders used their monopoly on food and goods to enforce the law. Do as we tell you or starve to death. Neither's much of a choice, is it? Of course, when you start reducing food supplies, what happens? The weak and innocent go hungry too. Then one day an incident occurred that shocked everyone. Someone stole and redistributed the food reserves to the children of Etro. Many of them were on the edge of starvation. <laughs> a heroic bandit. Yes. Rumor has it that during his operation, he snuck into the quarters of one of the elders and left a message on their pillow while they were sleeping. A bold move, huh? The Shadow Hunter will seek justice. The Order got scared Bigger. and began distributing provisions to everyone again. It's strange hearing the stories I've missed while I was asleep. So much has happened in the past 500 years that I know nothing about. We never crossed paths when you were still alive, and I can't even begin to imagine what you must have gone through during your lifetime. I just wanted to pass on my stories before I disappeared forever. It's an honor to get to share them with you of all people. I appreciate you giving me your time. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you for telling me. We wouldn't have known this. So where does she go? Even though their lives were taken from them, they continued to exist in our world. Each one of them still shining brightly, mm. each one of them a single beacon of hope for all of us. Those who still carry on with their lives must never forget these innocent victims. If enough people remember to keep them in their hearts, these girls can live for eternity. Is that what she wanted me to know? Is that what she wanted the world to know? So when they die, they just they're just stuck in the chaos. That sucks. Um that, that to me looked like the north station. Right? Okay. Right, we have that phantom rose as well. We were gonna go to the graveyard, but we can do that later. We can do that after going to the north station. Oh, I'm lost. Oh my gosh. Still haven't figured this out. What? Why were you attacking me? Well, time to see the winning pose. Oh, wrong out. 
outfit. I was gonna do that with the Mikote dress. What is Mikote from? They said it was like... What was it? Like some kind of breed or something? And an NPC asked what clam am I from? I was like, what? I haven't heard of this. Oh! Oh! Okay, we're already... Never mind, let's go check for that um, phantom... Phantom Rose. I can't figure out where else it would be other than the graveyard at night. Huh? Oh! oh. Another the one of those girls. finally come when I get to meet the savior. Are you... You must be one of the heretics' young victims. Yes, that's right. But looks can be deceiving. I'm not so young anymore. It might be hard to tell, but I've seen many more years than you have. I'm sorry. I'm the reason you were killed. It's my fault. Oh, stop it. Don't look so solemn. It's not like you plunged a knife through my heart. Besides, it was a fitting way for me to go. How could it be fitting? When I was alive, the almighty god Bonavelsa spoke to me. He told me I was to save the souls of those in need. I devoted my entire life to carrying out the plan he had laid out for me. If what you say is true, that would make you a savior too. No, it's not like that. It's not like that at all. I wish I was like you, but I'm just a fraud that thought she was chosen by God. After I died, I realized something. It was just an echo in my head that I turned into something else because I wanted to hear God so badly. I know you must think I'm just a big fool, but will you save me, Savior? You have no idea how much I wish I could. I just don't have the power to save the dead. Only Ezra does. The and she's gone. was actually chosen by God, and a fraud who thought she was chosen by God, and neither can do a thing. I tried, though. I tried and was never able to save a single soul. At the very least, I wish I could have saved my own. That's sad. Huh? It looks like a rose, but I've never seen anything quite like it. Is this what that boy and his mom were waiting for? What Micah promised them? I'd better take it to them. Otherwise, those two will never give up on her. Okay, but this pose, though. <laughs> and then, at that very moment, her soul shone with a blinding light, and somehow she was saved. It shouldn't have been possible. I don't have the power to save the dead. How could this be? Was God listening? Did he hear her last wish and perform a miracle through his gracious will? Or was it me? Am I more powerful? than even God himself knows. Wait, if we were told that we cannot save those who have died... The, yeah, Lightning might have some kind of special abilities now that Etro, the goddess of death, is gone. Does Lightning maybe have some kind of a fragment of Etro? And she's like the new goddess of death. But she doesn't really fully understand it yet. Maybe. So, are we keeping this a secret, Lightning? Or are you gonna tell Bunivelza? I think it's good to keep it a secret from now. Did I say from or for now? Oh, I meant for now. Ah, oh, there it is. It was in the picture after all. You look...
familiar for some reason. You and I, we've met before, right here where we stand. Although I really wasn't in any state to introduce myself at that time, I'm afraid. You're one of the women who was killed by Etro's heretics. It was your resemblance to me that got you killed. It was because of me that you died. Yes, but I don't blame you. All is part of God's plan. It was my destiny to die here so that I could meet you, Savior. You're saying God intended for you to die like this? I believe so. I believe I was meant to die and gain enlightenment. I know because I was a member of the Order and learned all about the teachings of God. I'm to share with you my knowledge and help guide you on your journey. Savior, you must be aware that in this world, new life hasn't been born for hundreds of years. Do you know why that is? I've never given it much thought, but I suppose that's part of his plan too. A dying world can't support a growing population. And that's what the almighty Buenavelza chose as his solution. Is that it? No, I'm afraid that's not the case. The goddess. It wasn't due to his plan. It was because of the goddess's disappearance. Because of Etro. We've How? been told this, right? In this world, Etro is believed to be the goddess of death. Her followers are heretics. Ones who go against society's ways. But the true Etro. She was the goddess that provided new life with a soul and a spirit. True Etro. And now that she's gone, there's no one out there to take her place. Anything born into this world would be nothing more than an empty vessel. Reincarnation isn't a part of the world's cycle anymore. Dead souls don't return to this world in a new form. And that's why no new life is born. This problem, it doesn't just affect our world. According to legend, the almighty Bonavelza will appear before us one day. And when he does, he will recreate heaven and earth. But that leads to the question, when this happens, who will breathe life into the new world? That's a good question. With the goddess gone, I suppose someone needs to fill her shoes. Yes. Lightning? Otherwise, the circle of life will remain broken, and the new world stagnant. Maybe she's the true Etro. You have a duty as the savior. If you really care about what happens to us in the new world, you have to find a way to do what Etro once did. That's a hell of a tall order. Finding a replacement for a goddess. But I want to thank you for telling me this, and I won't forget what you told me. You have my word. That's all I need to hear, to be completely honest. I... I don't know if you can save us all. But I know that if I have to put my faith in someone, it's you. Interesting. What just happened? Was I able to save her soul? Again? But that's not possible. I thought that wasn't within my powers. Okay, she said ex the exact same thing now. That she said before. But now she sounded sure. What was that light? Did you say something? The monitors were acting up again. They do that sometimes. Hope, you said that the savior doesn't have the power to save the souls of the dead. I can save the living. That's it. That's right. You can save all the living souls you want, but once they're dead, it's too late to help them. What makes you ask? Is there something you want to share? No, just thinking aloud. Don't worry about it. Okay, Lightning, uh, why aren't you telling Hope? Or is it that she's unsure herself and doesn't want to say anything to Hope? And maybe it might jeopardize something if we do tell Hope. Then maybe he will be in danger because we didn't tell Bunivelza. So let's, let's, let's keep it at just Lightning Known. But that's very, very interesting. So she can save those who are dead.
Is it only some of the souls? Or can she basically do what what the vanille is gonna do? Because she's gonna do something like that. It may be old, but old town But maybe she can't do anything when they are in in the chaos. Yay, I'm also a cat. Oh <laughs> No, this is cute. Look, it's following me. Is it because of my outfit? <gasps> it has to be. It thinks I'm a cat. Oh, you're so cool. So cute. <laughs> well, well, well. That merchant never has something to sell to me. Now we're gonna do this girl cried wolf thingy. See where she is. Maybe she's just here chilling. And also, we got the phantom rope. I thought I was gonna have to search for it way more. Did not expect. <gasps> oh my god, that is so pretty! Oh my god, that is so pretty. I did not expect to get the phantom robes that easily. Huh? Hey, funny hat. <gasps> Wait. The chef told me about. You really Filiana. should know the limit. Lackley. Hey, wake up. Her. Excuse me, but who are the you? Hat. And how is it you know Lackley? I don't know him too well, but he asked me to find his lost fiance. I've come to tell him about this lead I've found. About Filiana? But where did... At a restaurant in Yusnan. Apparently, there was an old woman working there who wore the same ring that Lackley gave to his fiance. And when her health failed, that woman went to stay with a friend who lived in... Huh. What? What is it? Is there something wrong with my hat? It's you! According to the man I talked to at the restaurant, the friend who came to pick up the elderly lady was wearing an unusual hat. You seem familiar enough with Lackley. You also knew Filiana's name. Was it you? <sighs> Let me explain. Lackley and Filiana and I are friends from long ago. I'm Sila. And yes, I'm the one who escorted that old woman from the shop in Yusnan. Care to tell me why? Sure, but can we go elsewhere? I don't want Lackley to hear this. There's a graveyard with no name. You know of it, don't you? It's beyond North Station, on the outskirts of town. I see. Oh, oh good. He's still sleeping. Come to the graveyard later so we can talk. I don't feel good with this being on my conscience, not telling him. Depends on what it is. No! I didn't get to slide down the pole. <gasps> what do we do you, what's going on here? <sighs> I've seen her around. You don't want to mess with the likes of her. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Run indeed. You must be Louise. I've come to take you home. But who are you? Oh, wait. You're the nice lady on the phone, aren't you? I recognize your voice! That's right. Finally we meet. Thank you for coming to save me. Even after tricking you all those times, I feel bad about what I did. Really? I mean, all those calls before, they were just pranks. It's not a prank anymore when you find yourself in real danger. Right. Being kidnapped is serious. Do you realize you would have been killed if I hadn't shown up? To tell the truth and don't get mad, I let myself get caught. I told the disciples I volunteer as tonight's sacrifice for the goddess. Girl! Why on earth would you do something like that? Um, no, oh, this is hard to explain. Explain. Okay, I know this is going to sound a little crazy, but just try and hear me out until the end. Please. The fact is, I lost faith a long time ago. This world has no future. We've waited for hundreds of years for God or the Savior, and neither has shown up. No one knows if there's a tomorrow. Everyone just lives for themselves. No one cares about anything or anyone. So I had to find out if there was still hope. What do you mean? It was a bad, okay? I put it all on the line to see if people were really worth believing in anymore. I've pulled my share of pranks and caused trouble, and I've learned that most people will put up with your tricks a couple of times. But no matter how good I act, 
how much I cry and how much I beg. No one ever trusts me the third time around. Even I know when to quit, so I made a bet. Let me get this straight. You purposefully set me up twice and bet your life on me and my morals, wagering I'd go against your expectations. You were betting on me to answer your third call. If you did, then I'd be able to keep holding on to hope. I'd want to keep on living. That's ridiculous. Do you even understand how lucky you are to be alive? You wouldn't be standing here talking to me if I hadn't made it in time. I knew you'd come and save me, though. Don't ask me how, but I knew that you were a good person. What made you think that? You don't know me at all. I know. I just believed in you somehow. Maybe because I wanted to. I wanted to believe there was still hope in this dying world. And look what happened! You came through for me, just like I knew you would. All of a sudden I feel like a pawn in your game. And you're the one playing both sides. That was silly. Well, maybe a little. But I'm trying to thank you. I'm glad there are still people like you in the world. You inspire me to keep my faith in humanity. In that case, you're welcome, I guess. I'm glad to hear that all that running around was worth something. Remember, your life is valuable. Don't ever forget that. <laughs> I promise I won't. And I'll never do anything like this ever again. Thank you. Good. So I guess she's just, you know, a daredevil. <laughs> no, she wanted someone to care. And Lightning did. There may not be a lot of time left, but if we all hang on to hope, we can make the future a better place. It might sound a little cliche, but it's true. That's what I think. Yeah, just don't jeopardize your life again like that. <laughs> Night's just beginning. There you are. It's the savior looking lady again. You're back. You wouldn't be talking to me like that if you knew what I'd been up to. I'll have you know I've been to see your real savior. You saw Micah? What did she say? When's she gonna come back? I have some bad news. Micah won't be coming to see you anytime soon. She had to leave on a long journey. She didn't have much choice in the matter. But she... She did give me this, though, to give to you. The Phantom Rose. Is this what I think it is? A Phantom Rose? Awesome! Mom, look at this! It's the flower, and it's real! It really is breathtaking. A legendary flower that will never wither. The petals almost seem to glow. I've never seen anything like it. Thank you, miss. Micah kept her promise, so I guess I'd better try to do the same. I may not be long for this world, but then again, the world is nearly out of time itself. I think I can hold on until then. Mom! I told you Micah would keep her promise! I knew she wouldn't let us down, not in a million years! You were right, sweetie. Miss Micah, she really was a savior, wasn't she? Our savior. She indeed was. He just needed to be their savior. Oh, purple lightning. That is a garb. The Phantom Rose, a ghostly name for a beautiful blossom that supposedly never withers or dies. Micah wasn't the savior. The only voice of God she heard was in her own head. But even if she was delusional, the hope and promise she provided was real. For those two, she was undeniably the real savior. Even if I think I'm the real savior, in someone else's eyes, I would probably seem as foolish and mad as that poor girl might to me. Oh, he's up. Should we tell him? Okay, not now. We don't even know... We don't even know what Celia is gonna say to us. So let's just go to the graveyard. I wonder which entrance would be the best. I don't know how to get to the other one. No, that one is fur further away, right? Yeah, I think so. But let's just go through the one that is the closest. Hold on a second. We need to check what we got. Oh my god. 
gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so... This is so cool. I love it. Oh my gosh, we're gonna look like an assassin. <laughs> I love it. I didn't even check the abilities. I'm gonna switch to that one. I just need to run around like this for a while. She's so cool. Oh my. To be as cool as lightning. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Do you like the sunlight? I'm way too goofy. To be as cool as lightning. <laughs> now let's see what she has to tell us about Lackley's wife and why at the graveyard? Does it mean she's a ghost or dead or what? Thanks why would she coming. go here? Before I tell you anything, can you promise you won't pass this information on to Lackley? That depends on what you have to say. <sighs> I suppose that's fair enough. I hardly know where to begin, though. Um... How about I start, then? The old woman working at that restaurant in Yusnan had the same ring as Lackley's, the same as his fiancée's. Why? For the most obvious reason, of course. That old woman was none other than Filiana, the person Lackley's been trying so hard to find. After she left him, she began working under a fake name. That's surprising. The way Lackley described her. Well, she's not what I expected. He wasn't lying. She was a real beauty, once. We don't know how or why, but something happened to her. In this world where everyone stopped aging, she was the one and only person who managed to grow old over the past years. It began right around the time she and Lackley first got engaged. But why? Why would it be possible for one person alone to escape the stasis in this world? Someone... And are you saying that's why she left Lackley and disappeared from his life? She said the last thing she wanted to do was become a burden to him. But I know she missed him. She always wanted to know how he was doing. She loved nothing more than hearing stories about him, no matter how banal they were. Back when she could still walk, she told me how she would sometimes pass by him in the streets. She never said anything to him. And he never could have guessed that the old woman he saw was his beloved fiance. That's why he never found her after all this time, no matter how hard he searched. Who's there? Yes. Year after year, she aged more and more. And her body began at last to fail. She's free from that pain now. Finally. Oh, she, she died. I'm glad she was able to find peace. No! No. Lackley. I wouldn't have cared how old my Filiana looked. I loved her with every fiber of my being. My only wish was to spend every day with her until the end of the world. Filiana, why did you have to? No! This is sad. Lackley. Should have told him. Sailor, I don't want you to worry about me. Remember what you told me before, when we met? If there's still hope in this world, maybe I'll find Viliana, right? Yeah, I remember saying that. So now I've just proven there's no hope. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying I need to find my own hope for me. I can't wait around for any god or savior. And even if my hopes get dashed, or they never come true, at least in my heart I'll know she's watching over me from somewhere. I'm done being a fool who runs to the bottle every time something goes wrong. That's not me. I want to show Filiana wherever she is that I'm still the man she fell in love with. The man I used to be. That's what she would want. Could you give me that ring? Here, thank you. You've... You've helped me find some hope of my own while I was supposed to be looking for yours. Indeed. I like this quest. The voices from the grave and this one, I really liked. But that was sad. I just came to visit my Filiana for a while. 
I just came to visit... That's so sad. She watched over him, but didn't approach him a single time. And just the thought that he would have, have believed her, that's really too bad. He felt so genuine too. <laughs> I did not have time for this. Oh. <laughs> Why did I overclock? <laughs> Never mind. Now we fight this. <laughs> In Luxarian, we have the still the one with uh, her. What was her name? The girl who sells her tears. Don't remember. It seems like we're still not done with her quest. Don't know what I have to do other than just come here every time she spawns. And oh. After that, what do we have more? Oh, we have Rudo Runo, his journal, and we have Armand. Right. We were gonna come and speak to him another day. That's what we're gonna do. Although, when I go back to the Ark, I will go back to Yuzdan. Because those oracles or whatever they were in the white robes, they want me to be to be there at what did they say? Noon? Evening? So I'm gonna be there. Time for us to go! Warp us up! Their day is over. That pose. <laughs> so pretty. I can't even say which one of the garbs is my absolute favorite. Because they all look so good. But I do have a couple of favorites already. Oh. oh, Sarah. It won't be long now. I'm coming home soon, aren't I? No, wait! <sighs> a reminder from Bonavelsa. A carrot. It was just a mirage. God didn't want me to forget the bait he dangled in front of me when he asked me to be the savior. But the moment I realized that, I became aware of something else, too. When I looked into Sarah's face, when I heard her voice and when I saw the promise of her return, I should have felt something, a surge of joy or warmth. But instead, I felt nothing inside. And strangely, I didn't care. It's because Bunivelza took something from her, and she said that. There was a piece of her heart that was missing. And didn't Hope say that for himself as well? So, what Bunivelze is creating is basically soulless people. Like, they have their souls, but there's like no, no emotion to the people. So what are we then? Just the ghosts of ourselves? Are you doing okay, Light? Yeah, I don't know about that. Oh, I hear that sound. Sounds a lot like there's some kind of items here. Ah, there it is. Let's see what we get. Black mage and white mage. Ooh. I gotta check immediately. Oh, nice! I don't know what I think about the shoulder, though. Oh, 
Oh, I love this. I love this very much. It is giving Caius vibes, right? Especially that shoulder thingy. It is giving Caius. And the color theme. Not with the yellow and the orange, but otherwise... <laughs> it's pretty. Ooh, she looks gorgeous! Oh, nice! <laughs> this is cute! Kupo! <laughs> oh, wow! This fits. Nice. Pretty. Ooh, the carbuncle. Looks like it's about to fall off. But that is so cute. Ooh, Tomberry's lantern. <laughs> Fabulous. What doesn't look good on you, Lightning? I don't think there's anything that doesn't look good on her. Ooh! Doesn't fit the outfit, though. Cute! Pretty. Ooh! We're gonna to the beach. We need a dress for this. Works! Oh, a butterfly! So pretty! Oh, we're going into a ball! <laughs> Don't really see them. Oh! One of the clerics had that, right? Cute. A sea brand. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Fairy tail. <laughs> Can't we just equip several? That would be something. <gasps> this is pretty, and it works. I don't know what I want. Maybe like the Moogle one. <laughs> Nice! The true Etro. <laughs> really nice. Well, there were several that I liked, but let's do this one. I need one of them to have cat ears at least. Look at this. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Incredible. Oh my gosh. She looks absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. We need to do some reading. Erba Dia Vanille. Vanille was raised in the isolated village of Erba, on the surface of Grand Pulse. A series of events led her and her best friend Fang to sleep for hundreds of years as statues of crystal. She's so pretty in that headdress. So, so pretty. I love it. When she woke from her long sleep, she found herself telling lie after lie, not wanting to face the painful reality of who she was or what she had done. Vanille's pref presence affected the fates of many people forever, including Sarah. But with Lightning and her other friends, she was able to face reality and bring about a miracle to help atone for the many who were sacrificed because of her choices. She and Fang became the crystal pillar that held Cocoon aloft, saving it and its millions of inhabitants. Two from Pulse did this. And people were so preju prejudiced towards them. Nearly a thousand years passed until Vanille and Fang woke 13 short years ago. Now the Order keeps her in their clutches, 
calling her their saint and believing her to have mystical powers. Keep her in their clutches. That is, that is a word. Basically, she's been kidnapped. She's held at some kind of gunpoint. Vanille once fought alongside Lightning against their shared fate, and she sacrificed herself to become part of the crystal pillar that saved Cocoon. Thirteen years ago, she woke from her eternal sleep and was quickly taken under the care of the Order, who proclaimed her a saint. Why did they chose her? Why? Was it just something they saw? When she awoke, it seemed that Vanille had somehow gained the ability to hear the cries of the dead. Vanille herself says that she wants to use this power to bring peace to the dead. It is a wish born of the remorse that she still feels for all the deaths for which she believes she was responsible. The dead of this world have become part of the endless swirl of chaos. Feeling the power of it, Lightning realizes that this responsibility is too much for Vanille alone to bear. Yet the one person who has always been at Vanille's side to support her is not there. Bang is gone. <gasps> oh my god, I got chills! And she probably got this ability because of the tremendous guilt she all always had. So she's still burdened by it, even when she was in crystal state. And probably Bunivelda did something with that. The Lassie are humans who have been cursed by the Falsi. They are given great powers and magic, but they are forced to obey the gods' will to achieve their focus or mission. If they fail, the Lassie turn into mindless monsters called Seath. Lightning, Hope and their other friends were once branded as Lassie, but they managed to bring about an unprecedented, unprecedented miracle and rid themselves of the curse. Snow is now the last Lassie remaining in the world. And what does that do? Why is he the only one? The character statue that you can see in the uh, in one of the plazas in Yusnan is said to be a homage to the false character art who made Snow a lassie once more. It seems that Snow and character art had a strange bond between them, far beyond that of any normal false and its thralls. Okay, so... Does that mean he doesn't really have a mission? Like the character is a nice falsy that isn't gonna somehow make him into a seed? Strange bond between them. A cactar. Huh. Luxarion, City of Light. This holy city is home to the Order's great cathedral, the seat of its power. Most of the residents are devoted to Bunivelse, the god of light, and each day many of the faithful stream into the city from other areas to pay homage to their god. The city center used to span the area between North Station and Old Town, but the encroachment of the chaos had split the city. Now the central functions of the city have migrated to the southern part of, of the city, between South Station and the Commercial District. Uh -huh. It's not really a huge city. But I still get lost. <laughs> Don't ask me how! I, I just... I just do. Wherever I am. The fortress to the north of Old Town has been abandoned by the authorities and is now known as the Warren. It is the, it is the, it is the preserve of outlaws and the heretics who defy the order. Yet that we know, that we know. But I don't know. I, I'm not too fond of the order, y'all, because they're keeping our friend Vanille as a hostage, basically. And want her to probably sacrifice herself. 
standing opposite to Luxarian in all ways is Yusnan, capital of hedon hedonism and revelry, which draws pleasure seekers looking to enjoy what little time remains to them. In the area known as the Upper City, visitors can find the Champion's Quarter, home to the Slaughterhouse, the Glutton's Quarter, where many fine, di fine dishes are served, and the Augur's Quarter, where the rich gather to enjoy fights, flights of fancy. <laughs> The lower part of the city consists mostly of old warehouses and abandoned factories. Mm hmm. Well, we still have to go to the slaughterhouse. We haven't fought anything. And they said we could become immensely rich, right? <sighs> it always felt like we had too little money in 13. In the patron's palace, great banquets and revelries are held each night. However, recently Snow does not show himself often, and security around the palace is tightening. Chaos infusions continue to spread throughout the palace, and some grumbling voices are even beginning to wonder if the chaos hasn't overcome their great pa patron at last. Hmm, let's hope not. He's not doing well, that's for sure. Oracle drives. These devices can record a vision of what is to occur in the future and play it back for others. They are uncovered in ruins that once belonged to an ancient people called the Farseers. This tribe was ruled for generations by the Ceres Yule, who possessed the ability to see the future, and they labored to labor to record the visions with which she was cursed. The images which are recorded within an oracle drive are sure to come to pass. If the future that is depicted in an oracle drive is somehow changed, then any alternate futures that might arise are then reflected in the oracle drive. Yes, we, we know this. We know this. And it was just a pretty fake that we saw. Because I'm guessing Lightning is the one that saves everyone. Noel was a guardian serving the Ceres Yule and a traveler through time. He knows better than anyone alive uh, the unseen sorrows that can arise from the changing the future. Is that why he seeks to protect the prophecy shown in the Oracle Drive? Or is it simply that, more than anything, he wants it to be true. Well, if we know anything, that is that Noel absolutely loves Yule and wants them to reunite. So he will do whatever it takes in the end. Light, I lost contact with you again while you were being teleported. Did you notice anything abnormal? Uh, I might have. Uh, still only have two sprouts. About Sarah. It was just for a second, but I saw Sarah. I guess I must be doing something right. God decided to give me a little taste of my final reward. You don't sound very pleased. <sighs> Ever since I woke up as the savior, I haven't felt much of anything. I think it's because you've been made something more than human. Something almost divine. Wait, what do you mean? The Savior is God's chosen servant. The Aradia is your life force now. It's the light of God himself inside every cell of your being. What I'm saying is, it's as if you're turning into a god yourself. And when does that stop? When the end comes, will I be sitting up there in heaven with Bonavelsa himself? Not the future I want. Nope. That doesn't sound like a future any one of us want. So far, we have too many questions to Mr. Bunivelsa. Let's go directly to use now. So after we have some... All oh, right. We cannot forget that 6 p.m. We have to be back at use now. I was gonna go back to Luxarion to talk with... The girl that sells her tears. The Lord Patron of 
Bruce Wayne. If anyone's supposed to protect the people, it's him. But instead, he's hiding away in that palace, presiding over endless banquets. It doesn't look like he's doing a thing to stop the chaos. Is that right? Yes, and the situation is growing critical. If the city is lost to the chaos, it'll be the beginning of society's collapse. All of the people left in this world depend on the goods that are made and distributed. One, you'll end up being trapped. Oh my! I really like that attack. That's massive. What? Oh, I'm not going forward. Mm. Maybe I should have it on a character that actually does an attack and goes forward. Or else I'ma have to go forward and use the area sweep. Palace guard. Blitz? Kinda want a regular attack on this one. Do I not have one? Mm. Spark strike or light slash. She looks incredible in the paladin outfit. It looks incredible in all of them. Hey! I hope he's not tricking me with this... With this ticket that I got. I mean, he might be a swindler, for all we know. We are conducting a search with your customers. Where are you? She has rose colored you hair must be your end. Here, I have a letter for you from Reddick. Reddick? <laughs> well, that's a name from the past. Wait, I thought he was dead. Hm. Let me see that thing. Well, that's his handwriting, all right. I'd recognize it anywhere. Here, I've kept the journal with me, just as I promised him. I don't mean to pry, but how do you two know each other? We used to date. Not one of my finer moments, that's for sure. Hindsight, you know. But that was lifetimes ago. He made me keep this while we were still together. Why would he give it to you instead of keeping it? Have you read it? <laughs> the thought never even crossed my mind. And I knew anything that bastard Reddick was involved with couldn't be good. Please take it. I'm sick of carrying it everywhere. I'm just happy to wash my hands of the whole thing. It's your problem now. All right, I get it. Thanks. Light, you found his journal. I can't believe it. I know, right? Weird, huh? What I don't understand is why there are so many people involved. First Reddick had it, then he gave it to his friend Orin, for safekeeping. I wonder if it holds some sort of big secret. A secret so dangerous, just having the journal in his possession could put him at risk. Oh. What do you think? I think... I think I should read the journal before I give it back. It would be the fastest way to find out what's going on. But do you really think you should? I mean, it is private after all. But does it really matter at this point? I mean, we're already neck deep in his affairs. It's all for his benefit anyway, right? Okay, it's up to you. But remember, what's been read can't be unread. If you want to do this, you're on your own. Brunolf's journal may contain an important secret. Think carefully about what's best for him before making a decision. <gasps> oh my gosh. I really want to read it though. Like, <laughs> what's the worst thing that can happen if we read it? Besides, it sounded like Lightning wanted to read it as well. So it's not just me. Sounded a little bit skeptic. Huh? But I really want to know what's in it. Oh, look! Look at snow! <laughs> 
banquet of the Lord. I didn't even see that one before. Nice. I'm thinking I should read the journal. I mean, I have a save just in case I fail. What could it possibly be about? That it's so dangerous to keep? Huh. It must be something of importance. Hmm. What if it fails? But I really want to know. <laughs> I need to know My hand truth. slipped. I need to know for Renolf, for his own sake. Day 2505. I searched every inch of Yusnan. I found no clues as to who killed my wife and child. Day 3229. I came across a merchant in the Warren who had a valuable piece of information about the case. A certain business rival wanted me out of business. Was this his doing? Did he kill my family to make some sort of sick point? Day 4762. I can't stop picturing my daughter's corpse. I can't erase the image from my head. I have nothing to live for anymore. But I can't rest until I find justice. My family deserves it. Day 15756. Revenge is imminent. Mark my words, justice will be served. Day 15757. Justice will be served. Oh! Day 15758. Justice will be served. This is a revenge plot. Day 15759. So he wasn't just a writer. Justice will be served. And he's not Day just eating bread. 15 Freshly baked bread and muffins. Justice will be served. Justice will be served. That's kinda dark. Justice will be served. Justice will be served. Justice This is... I, I can't believe Renolf had to live through this kind of tragedy. His wife and child were killed by a business rival. I can't begin to imagine how he must have felt. The journal begins from the day after the incident and goes on for years. I mean, look at the dates. He must have been chasing the killer for decades. It looks like he was consumed by the thought of revenge and nothing else. But wait, there must be a mistake. Remember what Renolf said before? He told us that he had never had a family of his own. I don't think he was lying. I think that's what he honestly believes. I think he truly doesn't remember what happened. Look at these journal entries, the same words written over and over. He couldn't deal with reality. He must have cracked. Lost his sanity. Yeah. And with it, all his memories. In the end, it was the only way he could survive. Cutting himself off from the past is what's kept him going. He doesn't mourn his family, because he doesn't know they ever existed. Mm, exactly. <laughs> and it says contents read. <laughs> oh my gosh, is he gonna be mad at me that I've read it? How would he know? <laughs> Did we fold the pages? Uh, wrapped in of light, containing tempting items that Lumina has collected, but opening them will consume some EP. You can see how much EP will be consumed by the number of rings. Uh. Are you kidding me? Locket pendant. This better be good. Better be good. I need to go and greatly lowers the maximum HP. Yep. Increases the number of combo finals for a physical attack by one. <laughs> mm. Nah, I'm good. Man. If you're in the welcome to the only. Do you have any more outfit?
Thanks for dropping in. Oh, he takes all my EP. See the play? No I need to go grind some. Palace guards are conducting a search for the intruder calling herself the savior. She has rose colored hair and is carrying an intruder. I'm not an intruder. I was kind of invited. Oh my god, she looks like a prince in the paladin outfit. Oh my gosh, I love her. She's so sassy. Citizens are asked to report her. How can a woman be this cool? I love it. Persons matching this Perfect. description Bang. to the nearest security officer. They got the same energy. But the lightning feels a bit more serious. This is a broadcast from the public palace bar. They're conducting a search of the security Are you gonna fight me or not? They were just in awe when they saw my outfit. That's what. Incredible! Ooh. Oh my god, she looks like a prince! Oh, you're right. 6 p.m. we need to be back here. But we are gonna go after 12. We're gonna go to Luxarium. Maybe not directly after. When did you wanna speak with me, these fortune tellers or whatever they were? Clerics in white robes, something, something. I absolutely love this battle mechanic. It is similar to the parading shift, but still very different with the guards. It's just that lightning is doing all the switching up. And I assume we're only gonna be playing as her since we haven't even gotten one companion. I would have thought that maybe we would have gotten like Noel as a companion, but no. Hello and well. Maybe we, we are supposed to be alone. Oh, you'll be back. You have come, Savior, as it was seen. Savior, you have come. Your fate is in our hands. I see all the threads, past and future. And your path is clear. My eye sees the truth. This is so and always has been. Our encounter has sealed the spell. Know now you are bound by my words. What the hell do you mean by that? Bound by your words? You think that because I came today just like you predicted, you have some kind of hold over me. And now you believe you can tell me what to do next. Is that it? Yes. You must bend to our will. That is your fate. Do not fight it. You're just fooling yourselves. I came here today because I wanted to, not because of any spell. Ah, yes. The illusion of free will is the spell's greatest strength. Now it is time to hear your next oracle. My eye has seen the truth. The three stones you must find and bring here to us. Stones? As in some kind of gem? It is ordained. You must obey. Bring us the desert flames. Three there must be. One is born by a traveling merchant. One is found in an underground path. One is found on a street with many inns. 
So if this spell of yours is real, I've got no choice, right? I'll go out, find those three gems, and bring them back to you. The chains of fate bind you. Tempered in heaven's furnace, by no force can they be sundered. You must do fortune's bidding. Light, are you feeling okay? Those men said they cast a spell on you. Do you think that that's true? Those charlatans and incompetent ones at that. Magic eyes and oracles, that wouldn't fool anyone. Good to hear. You are the one who... Well, I could find them. Light, you're not serious about that, are you? You know as well as me we don't have to play their games. What if what he was saying was kind of what Gunivelza expects of us? Conducting a search for the intruder, calling herself the savior. She has It kind of sounded like that. Because Gunivelza knows that lightning will do his bidding. Because he's dangling Sarah in front of her like a carrot. This is the underground, right? I haven't seen any other underground place. Uh, wait, did... Maybe, maybe we already got it. I don't remember. <laughs> One hit kill. <laughs> Citizens are asked to report persons matching this description to the nearest security office. <laughs> this garb has fun abilities. <laughs> She looks amazing as a soldier. Speaking of soldiers, did we ever see a female soldier back in Final Fantasy VII? Did we? I don't remember at all. But maybe we did. <laughs> maybe we, we, when we were at Upper Junon. I think I saw that. <laughs> Yeah, I think I did. Think. Hmm. <sighs> where, oh, where could my gem be? Um, is this what you're looking for? Oh, it is indeed. My good woman, thank you. It's a precious heirloom of great sentimental value. Accept this token of my appreciation. Ooh. 6,000 gil. Thanks. calling yourself Oh, oh, oh. We're rich. Of course, I want to see a play, but I'm too scared to take the special tour. We hold special Well, I'm gonna take that special tour. So, I might get swindled. We never know. We'll know later on. The industrial area is past Central Avenue across the sand in the lower city. The show won't wait, neither do I. Be sure that you make it in time for our six o'clock departure. You move around quickly with that drum. I mean, you were at, at the station before. Hmm. He said something about it being security with a merchant, right? I'm gonna keep an eye out for any new quest. And that's the character out there. The industrial area opens at 6. If you miss that opportunity, you have to wait until the next day for your next chance to sneak in. Be careful to be able to find what you're doing. Matching the description to the nearest security officer. Thank you. <laughs> It's so nice having Hope with us, even though he's only on on speakerphone or whatever we have him on. Some kind of link. Well, no. <laughs> A soul link. <laughs> 
Palace guards are conducting a search for the intruder calling herself the Savior. She has rose-colored hair and is carrying an enormous weapon. I thought there only was interference when there was chaos. But there was interference for him when we were speaking to the souls, the ghosts of the killed girls. Does that mean that their soul was kinda enveloped in some kind of chaos? But, uh, no, because then we wouldn't be able to save them, right? Because that's something Vanille has to do. Or we could be the ones who do it. But then again, doesn't that mean that we have to sacrifice lightning? Oh my gosh, please don't let this be a sad ending. Oh my gosh, I need this to be a happy ending. Like I thought we got a happy ending in 13. Jumping into 13-2. Oh, it wasn't really that happy that I thought it was. Because stuff happened. And then, in 13.2, the ending of that one wasn't too happy either. So... Where are Enix? Please don't make me cry. <laughs> oh, at this point, they're professionals. Professionals at making everyone cry. Don't miss your chance to see this. Come on in. We've got the finest stock. Glam hat. Come back soon. Not today. Looks like, where's the ambulance coming from? And it was these that these guys. Oh, it feels so much better to play with a controller. Much, much better. Some, no, we can't because the slaughterhouse opens at seven. Right? I would love to give you more potion, but I can't now. It takes time to mix. You see. Ah, oh, seven p.m. Welcome. Ornit. I used the nectar, but it didn't really work. I think I used it too late, and. The Stardust ailment This just... is not the hour for challengers, I'm afraid. Come back later when the moon is high and the city's festivities are in full swing. Desert Flame Gem for 2,000. There we go. Well, that's my entire stock. Thanks for being a loyal customer. I'd rather buy it. Hi, are you all right? What I mean is, look at you. You're doing exactly what those fortune tellers told you to do. If you're asking me if I'm actually under their spells, the answer is no. Come on, they're just frauds. Except you didn't just pick those gems off the street. You paid a lot of guild to complete that collection. Hope, you have to give me some credit. I'm just playing along for now. <laughs> the best way to find out what they're really up to is to hand over the three gems. Why is it playing Sarah's tune? Why can't I open it? It is her tune, right? And also... <laughs> that was so funny. Hope called us out. For paying for the gems. But you know what? Time is money in this game. Time is really precious. More than money, actually, in this game. Since we have um, 
13 days. Now we don't even have 13 days. See, 5 days left. But maybe I can gain more days? I don't think I have, I don't think I have gained any days. Looks like you've got yourself a ticket to the... Yes, I do. Now let's go to those guys. She has rose because I got all the games. Gems. She has rose colored hair and is carrying an enormous weapon. Citizens are asked to report security You know all about our Lord Patron, of course. Yes, the patron is the last remaining Lassie in all the world. Also they know. He's very strong. That's our dear Lord Snow. Everyone feels quite safe with Lord Snow at the helm. He takes good care of all of us. Palace guards are conducting a search for the intruder calling herself the savior. Is anyone going to sing here or something? Why is there a piano and a place to sing? A microphone. But no one is there, not even at night. Ah, the eye has you in its thrall, savior. Behold, the eye has seen the truth. She returns to us bearing the three gems, just as foretold. I was doubtful, but I guess you do have special powers. That spell really works. So why don't you tell me what you really want from me? Very well. The time has come. Listen well, savior. I have seen it. You will hunt monsters, fearsome creatures that plague this land. The Eye has seen you defeat them all, even the ultimate beast. And your all-seeing Eye doesn't lie, right? Because your spell will make it true? It is fate. The Oracle has spoken, and you have no choice but to act. Free our city of the monster menace. For someone to slay Niblets until the last one of its kind appears. Defeat the last one. Light, well, it's pretty obvious what they're up to now, don't you think? They've got a monster infestation and they want someone to clean it up for them. And that would be me. Palace guards are they're nothing more than con artists, manipulating you to do their bidding. She has rose color. What do they hope to gain from killing monsters? Weapon. Maybe it's just as they say get rid of the monsters and the city will be a safer place. Officer. You're saying you think this is for the greater good. If you're right, you should help them out. Do what they want. Exactly. That's what we are gonna do. Palace guards are conducting a search for So, they're not really con artists in that way, but... We just have to see. I'm very interested to see what... This way, ladies. What it's gonna be like when uh, we finish their quest. Until the last one appears. Palace guards are so, searching for the intruder, calling herself the savior. Does that she mean that hair and is an the monsters can go extinct? Or just the niblets can go extinct? And then there's a last one. How do I even know which one is the last one? It probably helps me, right? Or maybe it looks different? I hope it looks different. Because I'm not gonna know. Uh, warehouse district. That's a large area. Where is that? Palace guards are conducting a search for the intruder. Is it like a hidden pathway or somewhere? She has rose-colored hair and is carrying an enormous weapon. Citizens are asked to report persons matching here? this description no. to the nearest security officer. Huh. Interesting. Reveler's Quarter? Do we have to go 
through the industrial area. He still doesn't want to talk with us, so let's move on. She has rose colored hair, and I need to search for the intruder calling herself the savior. She has rose colored hair and is carrying an enormous weapon. They all know. You don't have to repeat what everyone all already knows. You can make good money, so. And the fact that no one is reporting me... <laughs> Maybe they're trying to find the big sword. <laughs> and they think this is just a regular sword because everyone has it. Imagine going around with the buster sword. <laughs> that would be too obvious. He's carrying a massive weapon. Oh, looks dangerous. <laughs> and there's chaos right up ahead. Ah, of course, everything is question mark. <laughs> oh, I haven't met you before, you just look similar. Protect. That certainly did something. Oh, she's so cool. So, so, so cool. Ooh, that was quick. I am really girl crushing hard on lightning. So stunning and cool. Guarding isn't working that well with the soldier outfit. I barely get a perfect guard with it. But with the Paladin one, yes. Jeez. Oh. No! Damn it! I wasn't even the one who clicked. It's my controller. Oh man. And you can see when um, when my controller just goes up and down really quickly. It's most probably the not the controller, but uh, the cable because it's each time when I touch the cable, and it hasn't really been like this. have wind. Not on us anyway. get 
to meet snow. So we do have the main quest, and the main quest is set out to, to follow that tour guide. Oh no, don't turn, don't turn. She's so pretty, so so pretty. She looks stunning in every single outfit. Oh wow, this is so much fun. I absolutely love games where you can just switch outfit. So you got something to show me? Here's my ticket, good enough? Damn right it's good enough for me. But can't you read? Showtime starts at 6. I tried. Oh. Move time forward? No. I can't just hang around here. I'll be back. Smart girl. Even if you're not smart enough to read the ticket the first time. See you at 6. <laughs> you little <laughs> shit. <laughs> Oh my, that was rude. I was just trying, right? Even if you're not smart enough to read the ticket. Don't try me. let's go I can just grind for more EP when when I need it because I'm probably gonna need it at night I don't want to do the main scenario not having enough EP just in case because what if we fail and have to redo it on another day we don't really have the time Thanks for coming. Mm, I wonder if the girl Luca was her name, right? The girl who sold her tears. I wonder if she's there now. Or if it's too early. No, I think it's too early. The Drunov must be here. We all need to leave. Who, me? <laughs> Do I look like a wizard? <laughs> I look more like an assassin. <laughs> You've been able to uncover Renolf's lost past, I see. For better, for worse. So she knew? Has she read it? Mm hmm. Okay then. I wonder if... This Armand. Oh, Armand is here. Hey, are you ready to tell me more about your friend? His story's pretty intriguing. Oh, you're back. I knew you couldn't stay away forever. I wager you're dying to hear the rest of my friend's story. Now, where were we? Oh, right. He'd gotten transferred to a department that handled big stories and uh, was given a huge one himself. It was a bribery case in Yusnan. The woman suspected of the crime held quite a high position in the order. Corruption at the very top of the church hierarchy, huh? Sounds like a pretty big story, all right. It was indeed. Uh, quite scandalous, actually. My friend pursued the case with a vengeance and published articles about it every day to keep the public informed of the facts. The woman was subjected to heavy criticism. A little too much, in fact. Turns out my friend was right about one thing. The saying is true. The pen is mightier than the sword. Unable to cope, she killed herself. That must have been tragic for your friend. But he simply told the truth, that's all. 
Well, the real tragedy is what followed. Shortly after her death, a document was uncovered. This document provided invaluable evidence in the case. It exonerated her of her crime. She was innocent. So the articles written by your friend drove an innocent person to take her own life? Yes, and he couldn't bear such a burden. I mean, who could? Um, I'll have to tell you the rest of the story at another time. Come back That's later. Sad. I'll be happy to tell you what happens. Did you say your morning prayer? The wind feels nice. Who, me? She's with the heretics. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did he mean me? <laughs> I'm not with anyone. Except the hope. <laughs> They don't know that. Uh, which way am I going? This way. Just a spell on me. You uh. Oh. May God bless all of us again. See if you can race me. You've got time now. Run to the south station. Or maybe you don't have that much time now. That was way too quick. Oh, chaos. Oh, it's not here. It's down there. Little boy, where did you go? <laughs> so, you got a girlfriend? <laughs> Just here for the chaos. Because I need EP. Where are you? No, kid. Go back. Go back. Oh. <laughs> Almost thought it disappeared just by lightning walking through it. You like that? <laughs> she looks so adorable. <laughs> Don't get cocky. <laughs> that little kid is so funny. <laughs> I can f hear his little footsteps behind me. Not anymore. I'm too quick. A witch? First I was a wizard, now I'm a witch. No one will dare sense magical powers. I, I look more like an assassin, alright? Maybe I don't have the daggers, is that why? Or is it the scar? It's all Trust in our god, Bonavelza. Or only my abilities. Well, Luca isn't here. So she comes up later. Let's go to Runal. I'd like to meet the beautiful. Excuse me, is this the right way to the cathedral? No, you're going the wrong way. Light, what are you gonna do with that journal? Are you gonna give it to Renolf? Do you think you should? If he reads this, he'll remember everything. Even the ugly past that he worked so hard to forget. He's lived happily for centuries. Sometimes the truth does more harm than good. Do you think he'd be able to handle this? Because if you don't think he can, maybe he's better off not knowing. Well, hello there. Here Have you goes. tried Marlin's muffins today? They're exceptional. My hat's off to you, Marlin. I'm glad to hear that. Renolf, I have something to tell you. It's about your journal. My journal? Did you find that old thing? I did. I have it with me now, in fact. That's fantastic. Don't get too excited. You don't remember what's written in it for good reason. You made yourself forget. And some things are better left forgotten. Are you ready to accept the reality of your past? If not, please don't read it. What do you mean, the reality of my past? I'd like to know. I may regret my decision, but yes, I'd like to read it. I'm prepared to face the truth. You're absolutely sure? Yes. Why am I nervous? Here it is. The part of your past you've been missing all this time. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. I remember now. I had a wife and daughter, but they were taken from me. The killer was never caught, though not for a lack of trying. I pursued him with a vengeance for years, decades even. Whether out of frustration or rage, eventually it became too much for you to bear. Your mind chose to forget that tragic event so you could keep on going with your life. I can't believe I've been living a lie for so long. How could I have erased the memory of my lovely wife? My beautiful daughter. Their laughter. Their love. <laughs> That's so I'm sorry. sad. Maybe recovering the journal. Maybe it wasn't for the best. No. I'm grateful you helped me remember what happened. I needed to remember. Thank you. The truth surrounding the incident is still a mystery to this day. This can't be the way it ends. I need to know what happened to my family and why. I need closure. Truth is the only thing that will help me go on with my life. Are you sure? You don't know the things you might uncover. I'm sure. Hope, I need to find out the truth behind this. I owe it to him. He deserves it. Now that he remembers his past, he needs closure. He summoned up all of his courage to face the truth. The least we can do is help him learn it all. I'll do whatever I can to help. Just say the word. Oh, I don't know if this will help, but I may have found something regarding the case. Anything quick. would help at this point. I found an old newspaper article about what happened to Renault's family. Unfortunately, it doesn't contain anything we already don't know. But that means there's a reporter out there who knows all about this case. That's true. There is a chance they may know something that can lead us in the right direction. It's not much, but let's pursue it. A reporter, I've been huh? reading my journal over and over again, trying to find something I may have missed. I've come up empty so far. But that means there's a reporter out there who knows all about this case. That's true. There is a chance they may know something that can lead us in the right direction. It's not much, but let's pursue it. Huh. Is he in the Warrens, or does Armand maybe know? Is it the same reporter that Armand was talking about? Could be. <laughs> this little kid. Well, I also need to wait for Luca. I don't know when she appears. And I don't want to miss her because then I I also have so to quickly to quickly go back to Yusnan. I have to be there at 6 p.m. Or else they'll leave. That is it for today. Uh, I was gonna play two hours or three hours. I think this has been like one and a half hour. I was gonna play more, but I have to go outside with my cat and then I have to do some cleaning. Till tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye.